Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Brian Edge Podcast. Got some news today. A great message from this Orthodox uh, um, Jew. He is, I think he might, he could be a priest, but a rabbi. Yeah. Anyway, um, check this out. He's definitely a rabbi. Talking about the red heifer and the heart of a man. Like they've been talking, remember I've been, I've been talking about how the red heifer is ready. It's ready. It's ready. Jeff Schmidt, great friend of mine. Hey, Jeff. Cheers. He uh, shared this with me and this guy is talking about, um, about the red heifer. Re- listen to the, um, check this out. Listen to the actual, um, let's listen to the question. Orthodox Jews who are Zionists plan on, on sacrificing the cows at some point in the Temple Mount. I think that's the intentions. You'd know better maybe. To, to hasten the coming of the Messiah. When you hear that, what's your thought on that? Yeah, he said, hasten the coming of the Messiah. Remember, we talked about the, the red heifer will be sacrificed um, on the Temple Mount. But they want to bring, he's saying they want to bring in and hasten the, the coming of the Messiah. Come on now. You can't do that. We know that. But let's let's hear his take because he's got a great take. And I think we could all from learn from this on how to operate in life. I must explain you. (laughs) I must tell you firstly, these people are not Jewish, are not Zionist. The Zionists are evil. They are murderers, but they are not crazy. (laughs) These people are crazy people. Yeah, he's (laughs) talking. No, he's talking about maybe the the local um, Jews who, the local um, temple. Institute, right? But that's beside the fact. It's still a group of people who think they can control the the return of the Mashiach. But this is not Zionist. The Zionists don't believe in God. They don't believe in the Torah. They don't believe in the red cow. Did you ever heard Bibi Netanyahu speaking about the red cow? <laughs> he laughed on that. It's a joke. He don't believe in nothing. It's a joke. The Zionists are evil, but not crazy. Yes. <laughs> Maybe it would be better if they are crazy. But unfortunately, they are not crazy. They are quite clever. Yes. And they're using the cleverness on the bad side. However, <laughs> we hope that God will bring an end to them. <laughs> he says, I hope God will bring... No, no, hope. We believe... That, no, I would, I would assume he's saying that he would stop them from what they're doing. Not kill them, but stop them from... Uh, you know, being you know, being this way and trying to force God's hand. You know who tried to force God's hand? Nimrod. Remember that? Nimrod. What happened to him? <laughs> you can't force God's hand. What are you gonna do? Hold your fist up and say, Come at me. So these people are completely I mean when you when you say that, I mean that, that can sound quite dangerous. You hope that God will bring an end to them. I I guess you mean peacefully. Yes. Let's keep going. You can do whatever you want. You can build a table. You can build a house looks like the Temple Mount. Yes? But you can't bring God in that. Look at that. That's what my, he said. You can build whatever you want. Build a temple. Do the sacrifice. Do all this external stuff. But you can't bring God in it. You can't. What, are you going to force him? The Spirit of God? I'll keep listening. He, he has a great take on it. You can't bring him in. You can't make God to give his spiritual in the red cow. You can take 10 red cows, you can sacrifice, you can bring them, but God, you can't bring in, in them. Yeah, this is crazy. It's like your child sitting down in Morrison on the car. There he has a Morrison on the car. Ham, 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 I'm driving, I'm driving. Wow, 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 I'm a fire engine. You're laughing. What are you laughing? I'm, I'm driving, I'm driving. You're laughing. Yeah, the same thing what they do with the red cow. Yes, I'm driving, I have a red cow. I'm building a mountain. Remember, it's the same thing as, as they used to do back in the day. They false God. A false god. You you fake this life of, of work. You know, ah, I do this and I do that. Look at me. I'm amazing. I do this. I do that. The heart of the matter is you're not running after the, the god of the universe. That's his whole point. And I think it's a beautiful thing. Let's finish it and we'll be done. It's a joke. What's going on? You can bring God. If you want to bring God, there's own way. Turn your face to him. Follow him. Then you can hop that God will come to you. Then you will get connected to God. You will not bring God to you with red cows. You will be building a, a nice building, much, much nicer than the Temple Mount. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Turn your face, turn your heart 
to God. I, I beg you today, turn your heart to Jesus, the Lord Jesus. He's the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. No one comes to the Father but through him. Turn your heart to Jesus. If you don't know what to do, if you don't know how to do that, what am I talking about? Reach out to me on Instagram, on Twitter, right here in the comments. Say, Brian, message me privately, email me. I love you.